Hey guys, uh, this is Al again. Haven't given you an update in a while, but we have been pretty busy. So a couple of things that have been going on. Um, main thing is, is I got the Bentley in the back. It's uh, in my makeshift paint booth, and uh, we've been doing some paint work. Uh, mainly correction. We're not doing an overall paint job, but uh, a little bit of correction. Uh, aside from that, I'm working on. Uh, my SL500 got into a small uh, fender bender on the on the rear quarter panel, so fixing that, that's going to go in the paint uh, afterwards. And um, I have another building across the street, which has been my primary focus. I bought that building maybe about a year and a half ago, no, more than that, probably about two years ago now. And uh, been dealing with a permit process and trying to get everything kind of permitted so I can get into the building. It was in a pretty bad state, so I had to uh, tear out some of the framing. Uh, that end up resulting in a uh, more permits, should we say. So uh, we just got through that, so that's real good news. It will allow me to kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, either do something with that building or do something for myself in that building. But anyway. So we've been doing some, uh, some paint work on the uh, 98 Bentley. Um, not doing a complete paint job, but we're trying to fix some of the... Uh, the severe paint damage that was on it beforehand. Um, if you remember, the hood had some uh, uh, scraping on it, like as if something metal had scraped on it, so much so that it basically took the paint clean off down to the bare metal. So uh, we ended up fixing that. Uh, we've obviously painted it. Uh, we painted uh, part of the front wing, uh, mainly because uh, the scratches was just so bad on the front wing that it just made, made sense to do it on this side. Obviously, um, that side uh, we, we didn't touch and uh, we'll probably be able to fix it with buffing and I, honestly I'd rather uh, I'd rather buff than, uh, than try to uh, paint because you, you can open up uh, uh, problems if you can uh, you can get into some problems if you try to paint something um, one thing to notice is that there is a little bit of trash here and there in the paint but we think that we can get that out with uh, with uh, you know compound and, and uh, wet sanding and buffing. Uh, we also did the trunk lid as well. So that's being repainted as well as the rear core panel. Um, so we'll, you'll get to see a better picture of that once we actually uh, pull the plastic off, which we'll be doing today. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the car out, bring it around to the front of the building and start buffing it um, and maybe start working on the, uh, the SL500, which needs to be done. All right, guys, so I've had to turn the fans off so that I can do this video. It must be like 130 degrees at the shop right now. So I'm going to do this real quickly and turn the fans back on. Um, OK, so where are we? So we did uh, the paint, paint work on the, on the, uh, on the Bentley. Um, I didn't want to do a, an overall paint job because I think the paint on this car is probably better than any other paint that I'll be able to buy in the aftermarket world. It's just that's kind of the way it is with any OEM paint job. And the rest of the, the car, the paint is, is not bad. It will probably respond really well to just buffing. Um, but the main issues that we had is, if you remember, the, um, uh, the hood was pretty badly damaged. It was like as if maybe the car was being transported and there was another car on the top deck and the chain fell over and just started basically whacking the hood. So uh, we fixed that, we painted that, we painted the top of this fender as well because that fender was was uh, also um, uh, damaged so we fixed whatever we needed to fix over there. The paint came out pretty nice, I mean it's got a little bit of trash in it but nothing that uh, we can't buff out so that's, uh, that's nice. Um, Likewise, uh, the trunk lid wasn't in great shape, so we painted the trunk lid and uh, came out okay. And then we also painted this rear quarter panel, which had scratches all over it, and the scratches were just way beyond beyond uh, um, a fixing. So we do have uh, to deal with a little bit of a blend line over here. So that's something that we need to fix with buffing. And obviously we've got another one over here and one over there. So um, that's something that we should be able to fix with buffing. Um, not a huge fan of burning paint in, but uh, again, I don't want to do an overall uh, paint job. So uh, this is basically what we got. Um, 
so that's it pretty much. I think this is this is mostly uh, uh, mostly done now. Uh, the next car that's in the paint room is my 98 SL500 again, and uh, that car um, has some uh, damage to the, to the rear wheel arch. Uh, it was a, a, a small accident that happened that damaged the rear wheel arch, so we're fixing that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this car. This car's starting to turn into a real car. It's already uh, registered and ready to go. It's just a matter of now fixing some of the key issues. Um, I need to get into the air conditioning system because obviously it's, uh, it doesn't work. For some reason, the control panel, uh, the dial for the air conditioner, I can actually hear the compressor engage and turn on and off, but the dial doesn't seem to work. So whatever um, is connected to the back of the dial seems to have worked its way loose. Um, uh, so I need to fix that, and obviously the, the electric windows are a problem as well. And I've, I've, I think the window regulators on these cars is really, really expensive. So uh, I, I'd probably fix the air conditioning first and live without the windows if I have to. Um, but that's basically where I am. And uh, I think it's starting to look like a real car. So once we get it buffed, I'll put the lights back on, put the grill back on. I'll give you an update. All right. Hey, guys. Um, I'm back in the shop tonight. This is... Uh, just a quick uh, visit, really just to bring the camera back because I keep forgetting it here at the shop and I haven't had an update in some time. But while I'm here, you know, uh, we've pretty much uh, got done with the uh, with the Bentley, although we may have to do some a little bit of touch up and redo. Unfortunately, the kid that uh, is helping with the body work, he was buffing on the hood and uh, he uh, burnt a little bit of a section, you know, where the hood uh, hump uh, goes up. So um, uh, we're going to have to basically redo the hood, probably more than likely to get that done. It's okay, things like that happen and you just got to deal with it. So while I'm here, I wanted to show you our little makeshift paint booth. So this is actually um, uh, a building that, you know, the building that I bought actually had a paint booth and this is the paint booth. It was a, a building that was used to make trailers at one time. And so they used to paint it here. And... Uh, uh, we've just decided to recommission it. You know, for the longest time, I've just used it as a uh, as a storage room, but um, it, it does, you know, it it does serve a purpose and it and it works out pretty well, considering you know we got all this really kind of I don't know what this installation is, but it's uh, it's real common in buildings that were built like maybe about forty or fifty years ago, and it is gruesome stuff. Uh, it tends to just basically just fall fall down in chunks and cause all kinds of problems. So it's nice to have, uh, you know, this little section. Um, what we were doing on this car is that uh, I actually got into a little bit of a fender bender uh, a few weeks back and uh, managed to uh, crease the, the wheel arch. So... Um, we ended up having to basically uh, redo this this wheel arch section. It came out real nice, which is uh, which is pretty good. Little bit of trash right over here, and I think that was actually an insect. Which kind of sucks. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the mask and tape off, um, and pull the sheeting off off this car right now, so that um, it's quickly getting ready for reassembly. I'm not going to reassemble it right now. You know, really the only thing that needs to come back on is we need to put the hard top back on. It's soft tops on right now. And uh, tail light and antenna. And I'm actually thinking about swapping out, if I can get away with it, swapping out my SLK320 antenna, uh, which is a fixed antenna, versus uh, the, the antenna that I have on this car right now. I think the SLK antenna is... is uh, much more resilient and I'm getting real tired of uh, fixing uh, the uh, the antenna that's uh, that you know the extendable antenna the power antenna that comes with these cars so that's the plan and uh, I'm going to set the camera up uh, and do a quick reveal take, take the sheeting off and then uh, we can take a quick look around All right. Tell you what, one thing that these guys are really good at is masking. Uh, the way that they mask makes things so much easier to uh, to deal with. Um, I've got something to learn from them in that sense.
So you can see stellar job. I mean, real nice. So there's a little bit of orange peel, but nothing that can't be handled with with uh, 3,000 grit sandpaper and then just a quick buff. I, I, I mean, honestly, I'm actually pretty satisfied with this. I wouldn't even bother buffing it. Um, it's just it's it's come out beautifully. Um, I would just leave it like that, to be honest with you. I mean, I don't know how well you can see, but um, not really that bad, not really that much texture. Um, I wouldn't even bother wet sanding it. I'd probably just hit it with a buffer and uh, cut and compound, and it should it should be fine, just fine. So uh, happy about this. At least one. That's one result. I'm gonna. Uh, clean up a little bit, get rid of some of this, all this stuff, throw it away, and uh, we should be ready to assemble this car on Tuesday. And I'm going to drive the the Jag back uh, out, up here, the white Jag, um, so that we can bring it in here and start working on that next, and uh, take this one home. So this is a mission accomplished. So I'm pretty happy about that. Nice deal. Alright guys, so just wanted to give you a, qu a quick update on what else we've been doing, so really it's this one um, and then we'll, uh, you know, uh, bring in, we'll probably take the hood off for the, on, on the Bentley rather than trying to bring the whole car back in and mask it. We'll take the hood off, that way we can wash it, clean it, uh, degrease it and everything else like that and then reshoot it. Um, for some reason there was a bit of trash on that car. Um, you know where we painted it. There was a little bit more trash than than I wanted to deal with, but I think the problem, uh, the guys who did the work, they they uh, they think it's just kind of the 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 paint booth, but I don't actually think it's a paint booth because I've painted cars in my garage and I didn't get any close anywhere close to the amount of trash. But I think that the car just needed to be cleaned, like scrubbed, uh, before we put it in the booth, and we didn't do that. We just masked it and. Uh, that was probably not the uh, not the wisest thing, so um, I think next time round, you know, we can wash the floor, set the stands up, and I don't think you're going to have that much problem. But anyway, that's it from me, guys. Um, again, always thank you very much, and uh, look forward to catching up with you next week or whenever we make some progress. All right, take care. Bye bye.